I want to talk about today how to get true links into your drawings of slanted features such as this edge. So if I do a inspection on this length of this, you'll see that it is 4.9845. Well, if I flip over my drawing and in this view I place that dimension, of course it's going to be wrong because it's not true length. It's in perspective. So how do you get that dimension? Let's go back to our model view and look at this surface. I know it rotates it, but don't worry about that. We can handle that in the drawing much easier. I'm going to now name this view. So I'm going to right click on name views and say new name view. I'm then going to double click on it and call it side panel. Then I'm going to save the model. This makes it available to the drawing. The drawing needs to be updated. I do so. Now let's place a new view. It's a base view because it's not related to the others. So I have to pick up the scale, same scale, and you'll see it becomes a part of your orientation. So it says side panel. Pick that up and place it. I don't need hidden lines, so that's fine. Now what you want to do is rotate this if you would like. You can dimension here if you want, but I'm going to rotate it. So I right click on top of the view and say modify rotate. Pick anywhere in the view and then I want to transform it. I'm sorry. And then I want to, I don't need to do a reference. I just simply need to show it 90 degrees and say OK. Now we have the view we want. Let's go ahead now and dimension it. You'll see it comes up correctly. 4.985. Let's, let's make that precision a little higher to be sure you see that it is matching. And there you go. Let's go back and just pick it up again. Measure, pick, pick on this to set it on the clipboard. Go back, put a leader in, pick on this, place it, and paste. And you can see that it is exactly the same length. I hope this shows you how to use name views to help you in getting accurate drawing dimensions. Thank you.